The driver of this FedEx truck was trying to do the right thing when he was killed, helping a driver whose car was up in flames. The victim, who's being identified as 60-year-old John Stacy of Pahrump, pulled over and jumped out of his big rig with a fire extinguisher along Las Vegas Boulevard near Via Inspirada in Henderson overnight. As he was trying to cross Las Vegas Boulevard, he was hit and killed by a cement truck. Stacy was pronounced dead at the scene. This picture showing the charred mess of that 1993 Chevy Corvette that caught fire. Unfortunately, the extreme darkness along this quiet stretch of the boulevard is something Aaron Breen of UNLV's Vulnerable Road Users Project says they have contributed to what happened. It makes it that much more difficult for the pedestrian to understand how fast the car is going because it's not passing street light after street light to give you an idea of, oh, they're going fast. Breen says this crash was truly tragic and that Stacy did what good Samaritans on the road just like him would do on any day. Sadly, though, it all ended with a loss for all those involved. Killed one person and forever traumatized two more people. Neither one of them will get through this very easily. And FedEx is commenting on all of this. They did send us a statement that is on your screen. It reads FedEx Ground extends its deepest sympathies to the families and friends of Mr. Stacy, who acted heroically in attempting to come to the aid of a fellow motorist in need. Safety is our highest priority, and we are cooperating fully with the investigating authorities at this time. Now back out here live, the driver of that cement truck did stay on scene there and um, is cooperating with investigators. NHP also tells us they do not believe impairment may have been a factor in this crash and NHP continues that investigation into what happened tonight. We'll keep you posted on the story on the website at KTNV.com. But for now, we are live in Pahrump tonight. Austin Carter, 13 Action News. Uh, awesome.